guys, today I'll be showing you how to do an oil change in a 2004 Scion XA. This also applies for 2005 and 2006 Scion XA. So stay tuned. You're gonna go to the rear wheel and stop one of this in there. That way it won't roll back when we lift it. You're gonna grab your floor jack and place it under the car. That's where you're gonna place your jack stand. I place it just like this, and then just keep going up. That's how you reach it. There you go. I do this so the oil can flow better instead of going on the side and lifting it on one side. You just place it there and lift it up. Start lifting the car, little by little. Take your time, make sure you don't, you don't hit your bumper really bad. And then just keep going. You'll get there. You have it all the way in the air like this. You got the car up in the air. I'm gonna place the jack stand right in there. It's a little bent, but it's okay. It's for me jacking up a lot of times the car. <laughs> I just put it right there and the way I do it, I measure it with my finger. That's good. All right. Make sure you have a flat surface where you place in the jacks, otherwise they can fall and that's no bueno. So just make sure it's in that groove right there. And we're good to go. The same thing on the other side. Let it drop. Slowly. Just like that. Now come around. Make sure that they're on there really good. Yeah, they are. That's one. We'll go to the other side. Yep. They're all right there, nice and firm. Okay, now you can start working on your car. I like to do sometimes, I like to shake the car like this, so I know that it's firm. Open your driver's side door and go under the steering wheel, right on this side, right here close to the door and then just pop the hood like so see the location right over here just follow this and then you'll you'll feel it hood I mean it's already popped just open it up I'll grab the stick and place it right on the hole right there. Just like so. All right. And what I like to do here also is just pull this up and then open this up. So the pressure of the oil can, that will make the oil drain faster <laughs> okay you see that part right there that's where you want to put your jack stand right in this section right here you want to place it there and then jack it up see it's between the engine and the transmission and don't worry nothing will happen I've been doing this for a very long time and 
the car works just fine okay if you pull this plastic like this it will expose the oil filter and right over here is your drain plug this one right here I use this tool right here I think they call it the spider I guess I don't know doesn't have too many legs but it's really handy I'm gonna need a 14 millimeter I like to use these gear ratchets they're really handy and in case if the drain plug doesn't want to come out really easy we got tore right here get your bucket ready if you have one of these just unscrew this cap and then pull this up this little cap so the oil will flow nice and, and it will go straight to that hole and then just push it so it will catch all the fluid place the tool okay always have to be towards you okay when you're screwing this uh, plug it has to be towards you if it's a little too tight that's when you use tor and then just hit it a couple of times oops you have to do it with two hands <laughs> so just place it in there and hit it just a little bit and it will come loose now loose it out prepare your bucket loose the drain bolt and slowly let it come out just like so Oof. It's, it's very black wow <laughs> And then just let it drain completely. When it's completely drained, just place the bolt, the drain, drain bolt, back in place. And just screw it in. Start doing it by hand. Then grab your tool. And finish it, tighten it up. That's good enough okay now we're gonna move to the filter now you're gonna grab the tool that I was telling you about and then you're gonna remove this plastic cover just a little bit and then start tweezing, twisting <laughs> twisting twisting sorry And the filter starts to come out just like so you gotta you just gotta keep working it out because you gotta lose and you remove the tool then you get your pen ready because it's tar already dripping and then you just just do the rest by hand like so now it's gonna come out ah, like that you know you're all greasy but that's okay <laughs> Okay, after it's all drained out, what I like to do is just clean all around it before installing the new filter. And I like to do this because there's a lot of dirt and oil that will stick in there and 
with time that's gonna build up and the old the filter is not gonna seal properly so you want the surface to be as clean as possible and so it can always seal really nice okay Just remember that get it nice and clean before you install the new filter Sorry, sorry for the movement right there, but it's kind of hard to do with one hand and the other one on the camera. But you get the point. Let's get it nice and clean, okay? That O-ring. Make sure you put a good amount of oil around it, as you can see. Now go ahead and line it up and start twisting it. Just like that. I like to use that tool to get it out because some people like to They, they like to get it so tight in there that it's almost impossible to get it out. But with that tool, it's really easy to get it out. If you want, you can use that tool and then just do it a little bit. Just get it enough tight. Not so much, okay? Alright, got the filter in. And then just make sure that your drain plug is completely tight the way it's supposed to. You'll be good to go. Well, it got a little dark on us. <laughs> well, that's okay. We got our handy lights right there. So the oil that I like to use for this type of vehicle is 5W30. That's what is recommended on this engine, 5W30. I like to use Castrol. It's a good brand. It's been really good on this engine. So now we got our funnel ready. Gonna be ready to pour in the oil. I always like to put all the way to right there, and then I will measure it. Let's put this down. Then I will measure it and see how far am I. But I always like to leave it out there and then measure it. So. Gonna pour the the oil, and then I'm gonna I'm trying to attempt this with one hand. There we go. Looks like I got it. I'm just gonna go and start to fill it up. And let's check and see. It's almost right on that mark. Let's go a little bit more. A tiny little bit more. And now it's right on that mark. Okay. Then I will check the oil level and see if we got it right give you good readings because it's up in the air the car but it's really close I don't know if you guys can see it what you see shiny that's where the oil is you guys see that it's supposed to be right a little bit more than the F right about there because some of the air is going to be sucked in by the oil filter so so far so good I'll get a better reading when when I lower the car lowering the car is the same procedure just get the jack for the spot that I told you earlier 
line it up in there. There you go. And lift it up a little bit. So the jack sand will be free. I can already hear it that they're getting. They're not holding the car anymore. Yep. And just remove the two jack stands. That one, the other one is right there. And then lower the car. Well, to see how much you need, make sure you turn the car for 20 seconds or less let the oil get to the filter turn it off and then come and check it that will give you an exact readings on how, mu how much oil you need or if you you put enough in my case i need to add a little bit more because it's, it's just right about there you see it so just a little bit more and i'll be good there we go that's where we want it filling all those little X's just like so put the cap back on make sure you tight it now we're gonna reset the maintenance light which is right in there and then you're gonna make sure that, in it, that it's an ODO which is your mileage Okay, you're gonna take the key out then you're gonna put it back in and then you're gonna press this one you're gonna it, there's a, like a little black button right here on the side you're gonna press it okay now I'm just gonna put you guys down for a little bit because I gotta turn the key then you turn the key and then you're gonna see that Harry and the main is light it's off so let's repeat this one more time you're gonna make sure that it's an ODO okay and then you're gonna remove the key you're gonna press this little guy that is right over here right there you're gonna press it you're gonna hold it then you're gonna insert the key and then turn it to the on position don't start the car just to the on position while you're holding this and then you're gonna see those lines that you guys saw before they're gonna go they're gonna start disappearing one by one and then the main slide is gonna go away and that's how you do an oil change on a Scion XA from 2004 to 2006.